Oh. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Today in math, we will be learning how to order numbers from least to greatest, thank you and I for your eyes, by using our knowledge of place value and we'll be completing exit ticket 321. So, what we are doing today is ordering numbers from least to greatest by using our place value knowledge. So can someone tell me what we are doing today? Go ahead, Tyus. We are doing I'll give you three seconds of think time and I'll call another hand. Three, two. Uh, we are doing up. Uh, How about this, Tyus? You come up here. Come on up. Someone else, who can help them out with this? Um, Emily, what are we doing today? Great. So what are we doing today, Tyus? What is it? What is it? Say louder. Order numbers from less to greatest. What are you doing? Order numbers from less to greatest. Order numbers from less to greatest. If you ever forget, anyone it's going to be written up here because that's our objective. All right, go ahead and take a seat. Thank you, Jakarta, for your eye. Thank you, Kiara, for your eye. We will all have a chance to order numbers, but right now, I need to borrow a break. Because I need to make sure that I am thinking like a second grade scholar. So I'm going to take, I've never taken your brain, oh. Maya's brain. Thank you, Jada, for not making a sound. All right, so I am Maya. Don't you forget it. So I want you guys to watch me as I write these numbers up. Remember, I'm ordering numbers from least two grades. So I have 121, 122, thank you David for your eyes, and I need to know the next two numbers. So Maya's brain, remember you're just watching me like Jakira or Anaya or Shari, all those ladies who are doing perfectly. Maya's brain, all right, so I know Miss Martin says she wants to order the numbers from least to greatest using my place value knowledge. What I am looking for is what number is changing. In both of my numbers, the one remains the same. Thank you guys. And thank you guys for not letting that bother you and still focusing. In both of my numbers, the two remains the same. But one number is changing. That number is my ones place. One place value is changing. So, in my place value, my ones place value is changing. So I know my hundreds place value stays the same. I know my tens place value stays the same. And my ones place value is changing. So it went from one, two, so what's the next number? Remember, I'm the only one thinking, so all your hands should be down like David, because he's listening and focus. So I have one, two, so what's the next number? Oh, three. And then I'm gonna put the next number. My hundreds place value stays the same. My tens place value stays the same. My ones place value is the only one changing. So my tens place value stays the same. And my ones place value changing, so one, two, three, so my next number should be, well, I know the count, four. Now I'm going to try another one. Watch me so that you know what to do. So I need to figure out my next number. My hundreds place value stays the same. My tens place value stays the same. My ones place value, well, they're different. So I'm going to first circle or put a box around the place value that is different. The four and the five. 
So I know my hundreds place value stays the same. My tens place value stays the same. So if my ones place value is changing, four, five, I know the next number. The next number is six. Can you give me my, take back your brain, so I know you can focus on me. I'm gonna ask a question as Miss Martin. Can you give me a reason why I put that number six right there? Can someone tell me why I put that number six right there? Go ahead, Aubrey. Because the room, you can go by one, and then it's just like a hundred, so it's four, five, six. So exactly, Aubrey, she's changing. So it went from four to five so to six. six. Now, I want you guys to watch me do one, and then we're gonna do another one together. So this is the last one I'm doing on my own. is the same but my tens place value is different so that is the place value that is changing so I'm going to put a box around my place value that is changing and just like Aubrey told me she told me I can count so I'm gonna keep the same hundreds place value and then I'm going from one Aubrey said we're just going up two so my next number should be three. And my ones place value stays the same. So I'm gonna do just like Aubrey said. She said we're only going up by ones. So my hundred stays at three. My tens is changing. So it goes from one, two, three, two, four, and then my four stays the same. So I got 314, 324, 334, 344. Now, I'm about to make some magic. So I need you all in crisscross applesauce, just like Damon, three, just like Ashari, two. Thank you, Shanice, one, zero. We're gonna do something completely different. So I have a number. Don't Think get a tissue. You are ready 
Bucket tissue. If you think that you are ready to work on this together as a group, if you're not, don't worry. We are going to move. But right now, it's your Chris Cole episode in five, four, three, two, one, zero. Follow my fingers so you know what to do. Bashari's doing it perfectly. Donay is ready. Go. Get your 